Let's go to page 356 and let's do the odds. Okay. So number one, you have 2x squared minus 8y squared. Okay, so do the step one, uh, common factor. So find out the two, so you get x squared minus 4y squared. Okay, again, make sure you go through the checklist, right? Step one, common factor. Then step two, okay, that's two terms, so you have to check for the difference of square, so, so yes, this is this one here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it two sets of parentheses. So you need to get x and x to get this. To get minus, you need to get plus or minus. Okay, and four, you need to get two and two. Y squared, you get y and y, and that's it. Okay, okay number three, okay, you have five, a to the four, minus 20, b squared. Okay, so step one, common factor, you can factor the five. You get a to the four minus four b squared. And so this is a step two a. So get two sets of parentheses. So to get this, you need to get a square, a square. Okay. This one you get plus or minus. This one you're going to get two b and two b. Okay. And Check again, see if you can factor it again, but no, this cannot, so this is it. Okay, number five. Okay, you have x to the four minus y to the four. So step one, cannot. So step two, yes, step two b, this is the difference of square. Okay, so you're gonna get x square, x square to get that. This one you're gonna get plus, minus. Plus times minus give you minus. This one you need to get y square, y square, okay? But don't stop over here because notice you have difference of square again, so you have to do this one again. Okay, so get two set of parentheses. Okay, so again, to get this, you need to have an x and x. To get this, you need to get plus, minus. To get this, you get y and a y, okay? And that's it. Next one. Okay, number seven, you have four v squared plus 14 v minus eight. So step one, common factor, go and factor out the two. So you got two v squared plus seven v minus four. Okay, step two, no, not a perfect square. Check step three, cube, no, not a cube. So step four, mass the product, so it'll be seven and negative eight. Okay, so you can start with one comma, negative eight. So this will give you a negative seven. So number is correct, but the sign is wrong. So you just go and you know, switch. Okay, so this is a, the right one. So get two sets of parentheses. Again, you need to break this thing down first. So you need to get V and two V. Don't forget the two over here. Okay, so this will be the inside. Okay, so there'll be the inside. So it'll be the plus four, right? Two times four give you eight. So that's the inside. This would be the outside, so it would be minus one. So one times minus one give you minus one. Okay, and that's it. So again, make sure you do this, okay? You, you need to show your work. Okay, number nine. Okay, you have eight z squared minus 12z minus uh, eight. Okay, so you can step one, need to factor out the common factor, so factor out the four, so you get two z squared minus three z minus two. Okay, then, then check your steps, so this would be master product, so it'd be minus three and minus four. Okay, so go one comma negative four, and so this is the one already. Okay, so you can break it down to z and two z, so this would be the inside, okay, Again, so this times minus two, two times negative two give you negative four. That's the inside. The outside, you need to get plus one. Okay, and that's it. Okay, number 11. Okay, you have four x squared minus 100. So step one, common factor, factor out the four. So you get x squared minus 25. And then step two, this is the difference of square. So get your two sets of parentheses. So you need to have an x, x plus minus five, five. 
okay, and that's it, right? So you can, so you need to, x times x give you x squared, plus times minus give you minus, five times five give you 20, uh, 25. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you have 12x squared plus 10x minus 8. Okay, again, step 1, common factor, factor out of 2. So you got 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. Then you go to step 4, mass of product would be 5 negative 24 so you can just start with 1 comma negative 24 2 comma negative 12 3 comma negative 8 so over here you get negative 5 but you need a 5 so you need to switch the numbers would be 8 comma negative 3 okay so this is the correct one okay now if you try x and 6x it's not going to work because 6 times something will not equal to any one of these number okay so you just go to the next one, try 2x and 3x. So again, you have to take care of this one first, okay? So this will be the inside, so it will be minus 1, right? 3 times negative 1 give you negative 3. And this will be the outside, so it will be plus 4, okay? Again, 2 times 4 equal to 8. Okay, okay number 15. Yeah, a, b squared minus 2ab plus a. Okay, so again, step one, common factor, let's factor the a. So you get b squared minus 2b plus one. Okay, again, remember when you factor, you divide it, right? And you can check. a times b squared give you ab squared. a times negative 2b give you negative 2b. a times one give you a. If you don't have these, now, if you don't have the plus one, you're not gonna able to get that back, right? Okay, so that's step one. Okay, now this is step two, you have to check for perfect square. This is a trinomial square, so you need to try this, okay? And go and check if it works. So from this, you need to get B, right? B squared give you B square, And you need to get one, so one square give you one. Okay, so now you have to match the middle. Now to match the middle, you have to match the sign, so you need to get negative. The number two times one is two, so they match. Alpha will match. So when it match, means your guess is correct. So that's it, okay? Okay, 17, you have x to the 4 minus 81, so step 1, common factor, cannot, so step 2, difference of square, so let's do that, so it would be x squared, x squared, plus, minus, uh, 81, you need to get 9 and a 9, okay, but notice this is a difference of square again, okay, now do not do anything with this, okay, this one, again, you get two set parentheses, so it would be x, x, plus, minus, three three okay and that's it okay let's go to the next one okay you have 16 x squared plus 16 so step one common factor so factor out of 16 so you get x squared plus one and that's it you cannot do anything more than that because this is sum Okay, you have to have a minus in order to break it down. So do not factor this. Okay. Twenty-one. Okay, you have two u to the three plus two u square v minus twelve u v square. Okay, so first um okay you got u u u here, so that's going to factor the u and well that's a two two and twelve, so let's factor the two u. So this becomes u squared plus uh, uv minus 6v uh, squared. Okay. So next step is step 2. Now this is not a perfect square, not a cube. So you go to master product. So it would be 1. Right? When there's no number means it's 1. This would be a negative 6. Okay. So 1 comma negative 6, 2 comma negative 3, so 3 comma negative 2. Okay, and that's the one. Okay, so you got two u, and get two set parentheses, so you got u and a u. Now, when there's no number in front, you can just put down this in here. So it'd be plus three, minus two, but there's a variable in the back, so you need to put variable in the back. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
and you have 8 h cube minus 20 h square k plus 12 h k square okay so step one common factor uh, you can factor out the 4 and the variable you can factor out the h so you're going to get 2 h square you can do a quick check multiply to get that okay minus 5 h k so you can double check this times I give you that and plus 3 uh, k square okay so you can check 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 okay okay now you can so this one is a step 4 master product so it'll be negative 5 and be 6 now to get negative from the positive you need to use negative and negative okay so negative 1 negative 6 negative 2 negative 3 and so this is the one okay so you're going to get h and 2h right so you have to take care the first time so by looking at this, this would be the inside, so it would be minus 1, and this would be the outside, minus 3, okay? But there's a variable in the back, so you need to put variable in the back. Now, don't put 1k, okay? So 1k would be just k, okay? So you, you never write coefficient of 1, okay? Unless, you know, with a variable, okay? And that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you have a, uh, a to the 5, b squared, minus 4, a to the 3, b to the 4. Okay, step 1, common factor. So you got a cubed, a5, so you can factor out the a cubed. And you got b to the 2, b to the 4, so you can factor out the b squared. Okay, so this will become a squared minus 4b squared. So double check, check very quick. So this times I give you that, this times I give you that. Okay, so it checks. Okay, so this is your uh, step 2a. So get your two sets of parentheses. So you're going to have a, a plus, minus. This will give you 2b and 2b. Okay, and that's it. Okay, number 27. You have 2ax to the 2 minus 8a3 times y to the 2. Okay, so step 1, common factor, we can factor out the 2 and we can factor out the a. So it'd be x squared minus 4a squared y squared. Okay? You can double check, check very quick, check very quick, make sure everything all good. Okay, so this is the step 2a. So you need to have an x, x, right? So, so this one, x times x give you that. This one would be plus, minus. This one would be 2 times 2. A, y, a squared, y squared would be a, y, a, y. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you have 12 plus 4x minus 3x squared minus x cubed. Okay, so step one, common factor, not. So step two is more than, so this step two C, right, more than three times. So go and do the grouping. And again, always, always put a plus between the group. Okay, so it'd be minus three X squared minus X cubed. Okay, so let's go and factor this half. So this, can, you can, this one you can factor the four, so you get three plus x. Okay, this one is a negative, so you need to factor the negative and x squared. So it'd be three plus x. So you can double check, check to make sure it match, okay? Okay, once you do that, notice you have this and this, right? So you can factor the three plus x, so it's gone. So the leftover would be four minus x squared. Now don't stop over here, okay? Because notice this is the difference of square. So whenever you see square, you need to keep checking. Okay, so this is the uh, difference of square breaking to conjugate. So this one will become two and two, right? Two times two give you four, and this one will be plus minus, and this would be x x. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one.
Okay, so number 31, you have 6 my minus 4 in z plus 15 m z minus 5 uh, z m. Okay, well, first, um, we need to combine the like terms. Notice this one and this one. This is n z, this is z n, so they are the same thing. So we can combine these two. Okay, so. Um, so you got 6my, so this will give you minus 9, and I'm going to write in alphabetic order, so it be nz plus 15mz, okay? So first you combine the like terms. Next, that's going to do the step one common factor. You can factor the three. So you got 2my minus 3nz plus 5mz, okay? And that's it, you cannot do any more because there's no more square. Again, when you do all these other factoring, you need to have a square or four times. These are only three times. So again, you go through the checklist, none of this is going to work, so this is it. Okay, so again, step one, that's that, right? Step two, you need to have perfect square, so this is not it. And step three, cube, this is not a cube. Step four, uh, master product, but there's no square. Okay, so this, this, so this is it for this one. Okay, next one. You have x to the 4 minus ax squared plus 16. Okay, so step 1, common factor cannot. Step 2, perfect square. So let's go and try this out. So x squared to the square give you 4. This one would be 4. 4 squared give you 16. Now to match the middle, we need to get minus. So let's check. So this time, so negative match, 2 times 4, match with the a. x squared match. So again, you, what you do is you try to do the sign, the number, then the alphabet. Okay, so this works. Okay, but notice, so notice you can factor these. Okay, so because this is a difference of square, so, so you can factor these. Now to factor these, we're going to, you know, write it out, break it up, okay? Because we need to factor both of these. So for this one, you get x plus 2, x minus 2, right? This one is the same thing, x plus 2, x minus 2, okay? And then from here, you got two of these, so it'd be x plus 2 squared, and you got two of these, so it'd be x minus 2 squared. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you got x to the 8 minus 1. Okay, so step 1, Common factor cannot. Step 2, okay, this is step 2a, so let's break it up. So you're going to get x4, x4, right? This times give, give you that. Plus times minus give you minus 1 and 1 give you 1, okay? But again, whenever you see the exponent is even, that's a, diff, that's a square, so this is a difference of square again, okay? So let's go and factor this again. So you're going to have x squared, x squared, okay? Plus, minus, 1, 1, okay? But don't stop. Again, notice this is the difference of square again, so you have to factor this again, okay? Okay, so this one you have to factor again, so it'd be x plus 1, x minus 1, okay? And that's it. Okay, next one. Okay, you have x squared minus a squared minus 4x plus 4a. Okay, so step one, common factor, cannot. So step two, so this is step two C, uh, four times, so you can do the grouping. So you got x squared minus a squared. Again, you always put a plus between the group. Okay? And the sign, the negative go with the term. Okay, so now let's go and factor each one individually. Okay, so this part over here, this is a difference of square. So this break into two conjugate, so it would be x, x, plus, minus, a, a, okay, and then from here, that's, so we can factor the negative, when there's a negative, you have to factor the negative, so factor the negative 4, so you got x minus a, again, you got to remember when you factor the negative, it changes sign, right, you can check, so this times I give you that, this times I give you that, negative times negative give you positive, okay, so now from here, we got x minus a, so we're going to factor out the x minus a, okay? So when you factor out, it's gone, right? 
So you're going to get x plus a minus 4. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you got 6ac minus 6bd plus 6bc minus 6ad. Okay, so step one, common factor, you can factor out the 6. So you can remember you to do the, the step one. Okay, so you got AC minus BD plus BC minus AD. Okay, now you go to step two. So you have to do the step two, uh, two C. So there's a six over here. Now when you're doing the grouping, okay, so you need to put a bracket now. Okay, so group, so group the AC with the the first term and the second term. Okay, and. Uh, the plus between the group, okay, and this group over here would be B C minus A D. Okay. Okay, so notice you got stuck, okay? Notice that's nothing you can do over here, okay? You cannot factor, you cannot factor. So in this case, what you need to do is rearrange the terms on the inside. Okay? So I'm gonna use I'm gonna do the this two over here, so I'm going to have an AC plus BC. Okay, I can put a plus between the group. Okay, so I'm going to do this this term and this term, and the other one would be minus BD minus AD. Okay, so again, if it doesn't work, if it gets stuck, if nothing can factor, just rearrange. Okay, so over here, so we're going to do this part over here, so you can fact out the C, so you get A plus B, okay? Over here, you need to fact out the negative D, so negative D, you get B plus A, okay? And now notice you got A plus B, B plus A, now they are the same, right? If it's addition, they are interchangeable, so A plus B and B plus A are the same, okay? So you need to go and factor out. Now remember, there's a six in front, so that's why you need to put bracket, okay? So take it out, so you got A plus B, okay? And then the leftover, so again, this is gone, so it'd be C minus D, okay? Then after that, you can, after you're all done, then you can get rid of the bracket. So it'd be six, A plus B, C minus D, okay? 